In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the blacklist feature within Expandy. This feature helps avoid those contacts you really don't want to outreach. Hey, I'm Amy from Expandy, the world's safest cloud platform for doing automation on LinkedIn without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generation tool, be sure to subscribe for our weekly growth hacking tips and hit the bell so you don't miss the next episode. Let's say there's a company you really don't want to outreach. Maybe it's a competitor of yours, or perhaps you're scraping an event on LinkedIn and you don't want to outreach the host. With cases like this, you can easily use our blacklist function to exclude them from any outreach. But how can you do this? It's pretty simple to understand. You just need to follow the instructions in this video step by step, and by the end, you're going to know how to send LinkedIn messages to connect with specific and selected contacts. Let's dive in right away. In Expandy, the blacklist enables you to add companies, job titles, names, and even profile links in which you don't want to contact. This gives you the freedom to avoid those people who you really don't want to connect with. I'm going to swap over and share my screen so that I can take you through each step. So, setting up a blacklist can be done very easily in just a couple of steps. You can either do it manually within the system or you can upload a CSV and I'm going to show you both. So, if you want to do it in the system, you can click Upload Blacklist and then you can select the blacklist type. So, whether that is a company name, a person's name, a job title or a profile link. Uh, for example, I'm going to say company name. Then you can do exact, contains with, starts with or ends with. I'm going to say exact. You're able to click clear and what this would mean is if you have a blacklist already, it would clear it and um, assign the blacklist you're about to upload or if you keep it empty, it's just going to add to that list. And then you're able to put in the company name. So I want to blacklist anyone that works for Amazon and McDonald's. And then if I click save changes, uh, anyone, what would happen is if someone was in a search that worked in this company, we would load them into the system through that search, but on their profile picture, you would see a blacklist and you would then get this error that uh, you can't outreach this person because they work for a blacklisted company. So if I just click out of this, I'm then able to do the upload CSV section and this is again if you have a csv with a list of people that you don't want to outreach uh, you can map the fields within there so you would just click upload csv i'm going to say exact and then if i just drag over um, a list of contacts i'm able to map whichever field i want so company name name whichever one it is that i want to do then if i just click submit i would be blacklisting everyone that's in that csv and that's it. These are all the steps you're going to need to know on how to use the blacklist feature in Expandy. I've explained both methods, manual and uploading a CSV file, so you can use it for whatever purpose. This is just one of the perks that you can use Expandy for to protect your privacy and choose your connections on LinkedIn. Now, before you click off, we have one last surprise and I hope you enjoy it. Just click the link in the description below to get a seven day free trial at Expandy. In our next videos, we're going to be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks. You can always trust us to get more leads and connections through LinkedIn.